To master the Belfast accent, these six categories are essential. In this final video of the three-part series, we'll look at these two sections. Belfast, a multicultural sound. Belfast, language over time. Thanks again to Kate for taking the shots when she visited the exhibition in Belfast City Hall. Belfast, a multicultural sound. Because of significant recent immigration from Europe, Asia and Africa, languages other than English and Irish are heard daily in the city. In the year 2000, Chinese was the most commonly spoken migrant language and Mandarin and Cantonese are widely taught. Polish, Lithuanian and Hindi are among the numerous other languages that animate city life. And a generation of ethnic restaurants has expanded the culinary vocabulary of hungry city dwellers. Belfast language over time. Over time, Belfast speech, like all language, has changed. Dialect words eventually fall silent. Street slang is especially short-lived. No young person says fab or groovy anymore as their parents did in the 1960s. In the 1950s, young people in Belfast described fab things as weaker or sticking out and their opposite as wick or cat malogen. How we speak is influenced by many things. Education, social station, gender, neighbourhood, generation, social occasion. Also by the newspapers, magazines and books we read, the cinema and television we watch, and by the computers and social media we use. If Americanisms creep in, it is only fair, as the speech of North East Ireland in turn influenced early American pronunciation after the great Ulster Scots immigration to America in the 18th century. Against imported speech, there is a revival in Belfast of the Irish language and Ulster Scots. The cherishing of both is enshrined in the political Good Friday or Belfast Agreement of 1998. Comment below if you live in Northern Ireland and speak Irish or Ulster Scots. Bonus round! Belfast order of words. The order of words or syntax in a Belfast sentence probably derives from the original order of words in the Irish language. Orders or suggestions are often forceful and verb first. Get you down from there. Phone you her up. Eat you your dinner. Go you on home. Belfast speakers are also fond of putting the verb last. It's to Belfast they're going. There is a drink taken. She's a house in Craigie bought. The word after suggests a recently performed action. I'm just after doing it. The word be is a busy one. What age of a man would he be? Or how old is the man? Now, should you be looking to master your Belfast accent with dialect coaching, contact me, a Belfast native, using the details in the description below. Given the current situation, I'm offering a 25% discount, so be sure to get in touch. Check out videos 2 and 3 in the series over here, or watch this complete playlist analysing the Northern Irish accent.